All right, how's it going everybody? Today we're gonna to take a look at how to connect to a file share on macOS and then make it so every time macOS launches, you connect to it automatically. So the first thing we need to do is go to our Finder application and then we need to go to the toolbar here at the top and click go. And then at the very bottom, it says connect to server. Click connect to server. In my case, this is the server address. Make sure that you include the SMB colon forward slash forward slash as that is the network protocol that's used to access the share. And then I'm gonna click this plus icon here to add it to the favorite servers. And then I'm gonna click connect. Now that put me through to the share right away, but in your case, you'll probably have to enter in some credentials if this is your first time connecting. So please feel free to do so. It's usually just a username and then the password. If you don't have those, reach out to your IT department. And now we have access and can open up all of our files like we normally would, but it's still not going to start up every single time we launch Mac OS. To do that, let's move on to part two. So now what we need to do is go to system settings right here, or you can hit command space bar and type in system settings, and that will bring up the system settings application. And from here, we just wanna type in login items. And from here, we can see all the applications that are set to launch when Mac OS does. So I'm gonna click this add button here, and I'm gonna to navigate to locations here, and I'm gonna select the server, and then I'm going to select the share, and I'm gonna click open. Now that volume has been added. So every single time Mac OS launches, it will search for the share. And if the share is available, it will connect. If the share is down, you'll get an error, but most of the time it works and it's super handy, especially if you're using a Mac in like a corporate environment where there's all these file shares that you need to access. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to help you out. Take care. Today's sponsor is Remotely, a next generation remote access tool. It supports 4K at 60 frames and it even supports HDR. It's low latency, which makes it great for PC gaming, and it's supported on all recent versions of Windows. It supports session recording and voice chat, and it allows you to mark up web pages. It also has a very active community forum where you can post up your issues and get solutions in the same day. All transmitted data is encrypted using AES-256, so it is extremely secure. There's a strong 14 sign connection ID, which makes it virtually impossible to guess. You also have the option to brand the quick support tool with your company brand and logo. And there's an advanced mobile application that allows you to use your tablet as a terminal. And currently there's free licensing for both business and personal usage. So you have nothing to lose. I've been using this software now for a couple weeks and I'm very happy with it. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. Again, big thanks to Remotely for sponsoring this video. Check them out at the link in the description below.